accident. God, I didn't stop. My God. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Dodgy and today we are continuing with Killer Frequencies. So sit back, relax, grab your snack, grab your beverage of choice, grab your stuffy, and let's get on with the show. Oh, right. Okay, so here we are. Um, she just asked a question. I forget what the question was, but these are our options. So, what do you want to know? I regret this, but okay, maybe I like being a mystery? Sure, let's go with what do you want to know. All right, shoot. What do you want to know? Question one. Tell me about your family. What? <laughs> Come on, Peggy. That, that's too general. Yeah, that's okay. pretty general. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. Now that's too specific. Too <laughs> specific? I... Do you have any siblings? I don't. I'm an only child and my uh, folks like are me. dead. Like me? Oh, oh, not like sorry, me. Sorry, Forrest. Oh, <laughs> don't be sorry, I'm not. Oh, it's okay, Peggy. That's how it goes. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. Ooh, that's that's kind of sad. Uh, I don't want to be insensitive. Oh. What happened there? I am my curious. My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck. And, Ooh. Well... That was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad. She even made me take my stepdad's last name. Oh, that's so, so weird. I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Mm. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was yeah. just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Okay. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. Okay. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Oh. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. What on earth could someone want at this hour? I don't know. Do you want to go check it out? No. You, you sure you don't want to go? I can't leave the booth while we're on air. One of Reggie's KFAM regulations. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Uh. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Peggy. The buzzer's on the front door. See you in a bit. Okay. All right. This this seems like it's a bad okay. idea. Down to the first floor, then check the door. I guess I could leave that open. Oh, she just slid it over to me. Okay. That's not opening. Alright, so maybe that's not the door. That is... That's not the door. Okay. Is it this way? Oh. Huh. No escape, I guess. Hello? Okay. What? A... Tape. Huh. That's weird. Play on air. Well, um, that seems like that wouldn't be a good idea either. It's bad enough that we we came down here. Now you want to play some mysterious tape? Like it just it just doesn't seem like a good idea. Like anything could go on that tape, right? What does that say? Barb, I don't know how to say this, but I think we should see other people. I hope we can still be friends, though. Brad. P.S. You owe me five bucks for the festival tickets. Wow. Okay. Well, at least it wasn't addressed to Peggy. Anything else here? Oh, look at the cats! I wonder if uh, these cats belong to uh the people that created this game i know they usually do stuff like that so that would be pretty cool 
I need a key to get in there. Ah, a key. I wonder where that goes to. Alright. Cool. So Peggy probably has the other key. If I were to guess. Oh, here's one of those thingies again. Look at them. I wonder if you get an achievement for for touching all of these. Because they, they have a lot of those all over the place. Mouse trap. What's over here? Okay, interesting. Some files. Bill was here. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's anything else, so. Alright, let's go back. Shut that. Can I shut that? I hate that these doors swing open like that. There we go. Hey Peggy, I'm back. Ugh. There. So we got this tape, Peggy. Um, I don't know what's on it, but just be prepared for the worst, okay? All right. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for lies. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'll... I'm going to enjoy this. I did not enjoy that. Uh, what no. the hell was that? It was a warning. I... Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. That, uh, uh <clears throat> wasn't the ad tape we meant to play. Sorry, folks. It won't happen again. Maurice locked the killer up. I know. That could mean that there's multiple killers then. Or multiple people that are doing this. Hey, we had a call come in. We got two calls. Caller, you're on 189.16, The Scream, with... Ash! Shut up and listen to me! Mr. Russell? What's wrong? Are you okay? I said listen! He's gone! <gasps> the whistling man is gone! No! He's gone? What happened? Did he escape? Oh, man! He's gone? What happened? Well, after our call, I cleared the stairs and went home. Okay. I phoned some buddies, and we came back here to keep watch. Then what happened? I'm getting to that. We came back here. Door was shut, just as I left it. Yeah. We had a couple of drinks, and, well, there was a bunch of us, and we were all armed. They thought we could teach the freak a lesson. Before the cops got him. Oh no. Did you let him did escape? Did you let him escape? Of course we did it. I demand you retract that accusation. Oh, damn it, Maurice. Just tell me what happened with this plan of yours. This was not my idea. The guys just grabbed their weapons and unlocked the door. I braced myself and. Then? Then nothing. The room was empty. Oh, the door was empty? still locked. How the hell did he get out? Are you sure it was still locked? I'm telling you, it was locked. No way out of there. None. Maybe. <clears throat> I mean, I know it's crazy, but if he's back from the dead, then... Don't be ridiculous. Do you think he's some kind of ghost, Peggy? It would yeah, explain Peggy. things. I mean, how do we know he's not? Mooney, there's no way. Oh, did you say something, Maurice? Baloney. I said baloney. Look, uh -huh. I don't want That's not what he said. More to do with this. I'm clearing out a dodge. And I recommend you and everyone listening do the same. He uh, seems really oh. spooked. <laughs> Wouldn't you be if you got attacked by a serial killer who turned out to be a demonic spirit? <sighs> He's not a demon, Peggy. Yeah, you're probably right. But what do we do now? Hmm. 104. Oh, 
Man, this is going to be a very Thank long night. Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful tip. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. Okay. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches battened. Let's see. Let's try this one. Let Storm Riders take you on a rock and roll ride with the Glam Jam. Woo! All right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. Okay. Uh, sure. Just go get it. Uh, okay, Peggy, geez. Why is this? Why Just is... go get it. Okay, all right. All right, fine. You don't have to tell me twice. Play me ASAP off air. Nope, shut the door. Oh my god, this door is gonna be the death of me. Doesn't even lock. I love how the uh, cassette is still spinning. Or the cassette. I love how the record is still spinning, even with the cassette on it. Or try your call again. Ugh. Straight to voicemail? My god. Are there any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had and probably never will again and we've still not received any information about when you're fitting it into your busy programming i'll be frank i didn't want you as part of this debut but mr snatcher due to his prior friendship with mr nash prior and current friendship gina forest mate you all right don't worry about gina you know how she is but yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think Final Breath is my best work yet. I really hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much less friendly. Okay. That was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest. You know... Roddy Snatcher? I guess so. Um, big fan. Uh, we are old friends. Yeah, Roddy and I are old friends. <gasps> I love Roddy. I Will Always Find You was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my god, I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And yeah, I can't super impressive. Tell me he sent you his new single. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? I don't know. Uh... They mailed it to KFAM, not to me. Then it's gotta be downstairs at reception. Man, I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well, if that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks mm -hmm. at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. Okay, all right. Let's go get the song. Final breath. Oh. My tiny selection grows. Stupid door! It has a mind of its own, really. Um. Hey, did you get it? Yes. Got it. Let's get this on the air. Yeah, hello's Greek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. Um. Okay. Where is it? Oh, how did it? Oh, I'm not going to question it. Wow. God, Roddy's the best. 
He is. And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. Peggy, we just talked through the whole song. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh, shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. Oh. I really hope it's nothing serious. Okay. Time to turn the music off. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Evening, it's been a caller. while. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16 The, the Scream. Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. This is Murphy. Hi, Murphy. <laughs> Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. Happy Sweet birthday. Day. And man, being his daddy has changed my life. I've learned how to live, how to laugh, most importantly, how to love. Aw, happy birthday, Fernando. Happy birthday, Fernando. Yeah. Thanks. And now, my other thing. What's that? I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. You think you're tough, huh? Oh? Big man with a big knife, huh? Ruben, come face me, a true warrior at the gallows waste disposal plant. Guess what? Oh, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea, Murphy. I got all the tapes. Master Robbie's Dojo series. Oh no! Get ready, whistling man. You just let loose the junkyard dog. This is not good. Oh, no. <sighs> Antagonizing and the killer. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown hero. <sighs> anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. Speaking of Dojo, time to play a commercial. <laughs> Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want to double your power? Double Are you ready your to power. unlock your inner warrior for only $24.99? Then step into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Rate and Kung Rate your instruction from me, Master Robbie. <laughs> you will learn the four qualities of an ultimate conqueror: the power of the alligator, the discipline of the tarantula, the oh my god, of the tuna, the poise of the scorpion, and the wisdom of the bullfrog. Okay, this totally reminds me. Hold on, I'll, I'll say it after this. Five 30-minute video sessions. Ultimate power and wisdom can be yours now for the low, low price of only $24.99. Just call 555-7861-USA to take your first step to becoming a champion. Okay, I don't know... <laughs> So I don't know if anybody remembers this movie. I remember I watched it years ago, but that whole commercial totally reminded me of Napoleon Dynamite, um, where the one uh, brother wanted to learn karate and he saw that advertisement on the TV. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they, they kind of like mocked that scene, which is really funny. I, I don't know, it just brought, it brought back a lot of memories. <laughs> Smash that like button if you know what I'm talking about. What was that? Never forget the element of surprise! If you buy today, you'll receive two additional VHS tapes. The, heck? the tornado technique and karate this fell. love making. Karate Call love today. making. Can I stick this up here? Do people really buy this kind of thing? Don't pretend like you're not interested. I mean I wouldn't buy them, but I might watch them. I guess. Yeah, I bet karate lovemaking sure is something. Oh uh, God, Peggy! I, uh... <laughs> is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Hey, let's just get to the show. Sure. Wow, what a deal! Only twenty four ninety nine, and I'm not just saying that because they're paying for the airtime. Just ask Murphy. But unless they pay us more, then it's time to get the show moving along with our next caller. We got a caller. Oh, you know okay. what to do. Hello, caller. Hey, You're caller. Live on the scream with me, Forrest Nash. And Dodgy. <sighs> oh. 
Who's there? Who is this? Are you okay? This is weird. Do you need help? Forrest? He called me? That horrible whistling down the phone. Okay. He's coming for me? Jesus. Okay, listen, Collar. Don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. A few times already? So, you saved them, or...? We sure did. You're in safe hands. Okay. Okay. We're gonna help you. Can you tell me your name, Collar? I'm Dr. Sullivan. Uh, Virginia. Sorry. Take Virginia. some deep breaths, Virginia. You're gonna be okay. Please don't let me die. I won't. Okay. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? You shouldn't say that on the air. Oh God. Uh. Can you hide? Maybe you can hide in your house. He'll find me. Okay. I know he'll find me. Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away tonight. Oh, of There's course they are. Just a fraternity down the street. You live by a frat house. Virginia, what's the name of the frat? It's... Oh, God. I can't think. I, I can't... Any idea what the frat Just might be, Peggy? Calm down, if I knew Peggy. where she was, I might know, but... Wait, the takeout. The takeout. If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Okay. Virginia, who did they order takeout from? I don't know. <laughs> well, uh... Uh, don't be a child. Uh, try to Come remember. On, Virginia. Try to remember. I can't do this! Yes, you can! Well, folks, seems like our Virginia hung up. Oh, no. While we try to figure out what takeout to order, here's some music for your own midnight snacks. Hopefully she's okay. Listen in to this next track from Late Night Lurkers. If you dare. Peggy, what places do take out in Gallows Creek? Off the top of my head? Uh, well... There's the barbecue place, Grilling Spree, and you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Chalupa oh, Cabras. And of course, we have Ponte's Pizza. That's it, I think. Um... Alright. We'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. That's not going to work. Take out client privilege. Mm. What? There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. But what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys ordered from, call the takeout pretending to be from the frat, okay. place an order, and include a note asking them to call the station. <sighs> There's no other way, is there? Mm -mm. Not that I can see. You know... It's things like this that make me hate this town. Complain after you save her, Forrest. <laughs> Got any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related. And maybe the kitchen downstairs. You'll need a key for that. Okay. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. Alright. Ah, this door. Right, where to start? Oh, uh, probably. It would make me order from somewhere if I were upstairs. a partying frat boy. I think if, if I was at a frat, um, it would definitely be probably the pizza place. Because if you're having a party, more people would, you know, eat, I guess, maybe. Why wouldn't they have a... Oh. A promotion, huh? Maybe if I find the pizza box. Dear Bradley Carter, please enjoy a free sample of garlic bread. We've pinned our best offers and deals on the outside of the box if you want to read them out on air. Grilling Spree's new offer is terrible, and we think you should read our advert instead. P.S. A connoisseur like you needs to try our three-hour slow-roasted pizza. Much love. Ponty's Pizza! Hey, I ate the garlic bread. Much like, <laughs> much like your show, it was mediocre. The deal is worth checking out, though, John. 
grilling spree. I better see what's on this tape. six-pack huh I wonder how well gallows high performed yeah <laughs> hey Forrest yeah do you know what the grill reapers favorite grilling spree order is I have a feeling you're gonna tell me yep spare ribs Christ. Ha -ha. yes you're so funny hey find anything useful um I'll go and look again all right don't take too long Virginia needs our help. Okay. All right, let's go downstairs. Let's see if there's anything down there that we can use. Staff. There we go. Um. Needs a key. Okay. Okay. That's locked. Locked. For now. All right. For now, that means we'll be able to go in there eventually, right? Locked tight. Hmm. I feel like this is where that guy was. No, 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 it had a window. That's right. It had a window. Because we could see him. It was here. No. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I don't know. Anything in here? Just a bunch of cleaning supplies. Alright, so not in there. What? They have a game? Can you play the game? Oh no, it's out of order! That sucks. What's that? Seven days? Can I play it? Broken. That's funny. That's a cool, like, call out, I guess, to, um... Uh, what was that movie? The, the Ring? What was this? Nice! New music to play. Sweet! Hmm. All right, so I guess there's nothing else here? I'm gonna just put that up there. All right, I think that's it. Hey, find anything useful? Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? Yes. Let's make the call. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Okay, Forrest, what'll it be? Let's call... Grilling Spree. Call Grilling Spree. Okay. The Grill Reaper is on the line. You're through the Grilling Spree. We've got barbecue you'll die for. <laughs> Hey, dude, what's going on? Uh, <laughs> can I just have your order? I want ribs, big ribs, for my frat house, brothers. Right. And where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know. The frat house. Same address? All right. We'll get it to you soon. Oh, and, and one more thing. 
Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? A note? Okay. We better check for this. Ha. Huh. And now we wait. We should put a song on. Agreed. This one goes out to our delivery workers. Uh, not that one. Let's try this new one. I want to try the new one. Give me that. Oh my god. Play a record, Forrest. I'm trying! There we go. This is I'm Coming to Getcha by Vice. One of the best tunes this year. I just noticed that, like, all of the titles sound like something from, like, the killer's perspective in a way. I'm coming to get you. Like, come on. Would you order from? To save Virginia? No. Wh where would you actually eat? Oh, I mean, they're all pretty equal. Uh, equally. <laughs> you mean equally awful? No, equally good. But if I had to order, not Ponty. He's not Ponty. Right. <laughs> so between grilling spree and chalupa cobbers. I mean, it depends. Mm. Do I want a plate full of meat? Or do I want really, really good nachos? Really good nachos. It can change depending on the day, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, maybe I... Hold that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming in. All right. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. And Dodgy. Uh, this is Dudley from the Brotherly Fraternity of Engineers. Uh, I have a note to call you. Hey, weird question. Uh, but you aren't the only ones on your street tonight, are you? No, sir. Uh, I think everyone on the street is in tonight. Uh, yeppers. Uh, I just visually confirmed it. Uh, <laughs> I see cars in the driveways. And a couple of lights on. Okay. Uh, everyone's in. Yeah. Oh. And you've not been throwing a loud party all night, have you? I oh, certainly no. hope we haven't disturbed our neighbors. Uh, why do you ask, sir? Forrest, we have a new call coming in. Oh, no. Forrest, line two. Hello. You're live on 189.16, The Stream. Forrest! Peggy, this scheme was never going to work. This was your idea. Really, Forrest? You're blaming me for this? The plan was fine. You just sent it to the wrong place. Hey, I tried my best. To everyone listening, I know things look bad, but please don't lose faith. Oh, we will God. stop this whistling man. And I think Virginia may have just given us the clue we need. <sighs> what was that about Clive I didn't what? talk? Do you know what she meant? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive. But your guess is as good as mine. All right, folks. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. In the meantime, looks like we have another caller. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. And Dodgy. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. As a local small business owner, oh, I find this all horrifying. A killer roaming the streets of our fair town? Ooh, terrible. <sighs> I hear you there. It's a scary time for everyone in Gallows Creek. I'll say. How are you holding up? You somewhere safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my small business. It's a safe family friendly place uh okay um let's see you sure are up late i guess you must love the work oh i sure i don't do. want to give away you his know, position we're at it all day every day and that includes major holidays we've mm -hmm. got coming up 
Black Halloween. Oh, Halloween. I love Halloween. And Christmas. Oh, it's my life. Uh, dang, I'm gonna have to ask him. What is your business anyway? Oh, well, I'm not really big on promotion, but uh, since you asked, it's Party's Pizza! Oh, the no! Pizza in town. Come on down and get yourself a cracking deal on our two for one. God damn it, Party, no! No free ads! <laughs> I wonder what would have happened if we called Ponty's instead. Look, he's uh, gone. Now. Don't remind we already me. Have somebody else on the line. Just take a deep breath and let's keep going. Okay. Oops, wrong one. Evening caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16 The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hi. Hello? Am I on air? Sure, yes. caller. What's your name? And what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein, and I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. Okay. I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze, listening to your show, looking up at the stars and waiting for her. For who? You got a special lady coming out to see you. Yeah. Molly. We planned to get lost in the maze maze tonight, to take our first journey together to the love labyrinth. Oh, that's sweet. That's why I'm calling, actually. I, I thought she'd be here an hour ago. And since I've listened all night to how cool you play it, I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. Should I call her up and ask if she's coming, or wait and see? For real, kid? If you've been listening all night, do you really need to ask me? Yes, that's why I'm calling. Oh, go home to your parents. Eugene, you really need to go home to your parents. My parents are dead, actually. Oh, but, uh, oh good. Oh, good guys. Yeah, I guess it's not the night. Hang on. I hear some rustling. I guess she came after all. Molly! I'm in the middle! It'll take a little while to get here, but uh, thanks again, Forrest. Okay. Good talking. No! Molly can't whistle. No, no, this is supposed to be the best night of my life. Not the worst. What the heck? Uh. Just run through the walls? Stay calm, Eugene. Okay. We'll get you out of this. Let's try, Mark, at least. I'm about to die a virgin! Listen, Eugene. Breathe, hide, and call back in a minute. We'll get you out. I... I'll do it for Molly. But please, hurry. Well, listeners, while Peggy and I deliberate, here's a track for all you lovers out there. Okay. Ugh. It's David Scopo with Moonlight. How the hell am I supposed to get him through the maze maze? Oh, you know Barbara, no. our receptionist? She's a maze maze fanatic. Yeah? Shame she isn't here. I was supposed to go with her last week, but she changed her mind. Maybe we should call Barbara? Maybe we should call Barbara then? If she's so big on the maze maze. We could, but I don't actually know her number. But she probably has maze maze stuff somewhere. Go okay. and see what you can find. That'll hopefully be enough. Uh, which one is Barbara again? Barbara, you know, Barbara. Uh... Forrest, I've seen you speak to her. Help me out, Peggy. She's the receptionist. Sits at reception, never does right. any work because she's talking to Brad all day. Right, but Brad Does wants to see bells? other people. Right, yeah, sorry, I guess it's just the stress of... No excuses, just go and find something to help us. This is a bad situation. But I think we're gonna end it here and we'll try and help this kid out in the next episode. Well, that is all the time I have for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you are subscribed, please be sure to hit the bell notification. That way you are aware of the next time that I post. I love you. Don't forget your boots. Whoop. Okay, bye.